How does breast cancer spread? Well, one of the first places it will travel to would be the glands in the armpit or axilla. An axillary nodal clearance is an operation where we remove all of the lymph nodes from your armpit or your axilla. Hence, it's called an axillary nodal clearance. Now, many of you have asked me to talk about this in more detail, and so let's dive in. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, and I'm a breast surgeon. So when would you have an axillary nodal clearance? Well, this operation is usually done at the same time as the breast cancer operation. So during that operation, not only will we remove the cancer from the breast, but also remove all of the nodes from the axilla. This is usually done either through a separate scar made in the armpit or axilla, or if you're having a mastectomy, we can usually do it through the same mastectomy scar. Now, a common question I get asked is, how many lymph nodes are there in the axilla or the armpit? And the answer to this is that the number varies from one person to the next. Some may only have eight nodes, some may have 28 or even more. It really does depend. So how do you know how many to take? Well, we know what to remove by certain landmarks that we find in the axilla at the time of surgery. And these are the axillary vein, the thoracodorsal pedicle, which supplies the latissimus dorsi muscle over your scapula, and the nerve to serratus anterior, which supplies the outer part of your chest wall. The aim of the surgery is to identify these landmarks. And so once we've done that, all the glands or the lymph node tissue that is found between these are removed. And this will include all the lymph nodes that we need. The sample will then be sent to the lab and the pathologist will process all of this. They will then count how many lymph nodes are present. This is how we know how many lymph nodes a person has. So what are the risks? Well, the operation is relatively safe and very well tolerated, but any operation will have risks and they are. Number one, seroma. Seromas are very common after these types of operations. And this is fluid that collects within the space in the axilla that can cause a swelling after an operation. The majority of the time, the body is able to absorb the fluid and it can go away on its own. Sometimes though, this doesn't happen. And so what we need to do is give it a helping hand and we can drain the fluid using a needle and syringe when you come to the clinic. Seromas are extremely common and it's nothing to worry about. I've actually made a specific video about seromas and if you want to watch it, I will leave a link in the description below. Number two is lymphedema. And this is swelling that can affect the arm, hand, and fingers. The risk is about 20%, and it can happen actually years after the surgery. And this is because the lymph glands that help drain the lymph fluid have been removed, and so the drainage is affected. Generally, at the moment, this process is something we cannot reverse. And so if you develop this, we will give you a compression sleeve to wear and exercises to do. The symptoms can also be helped with manual lymphatic drainage and massages as well. Number three is nerve injury. There are lots of nerves in the armpit and some important nerves as well. And if these get injured, you may find that the movement of your back and your shoulder gets affected. Numbness is also a common result of this operation and it can sometimes be permanent. If you do get this, the area that's usually affected is this part, which is the under um, part of your upper arm, close to your axilla. And number four is cording. You'll notice a cord-like structure in the axilla that can actually restrict your movement and sometimes be uncomfortable. We're not really sure why this happens, but it could be because of scarring and inflammation around the vessels within the axilla. It can happen a few days, weeks, or even months after the operation. If you notice cording, you should let your team know and they can advise you as to what you can do to help improve it. This may include massages as well as physiotherapy. Let me know if you've had an axillary nodal clearance surgery and share your experiences in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.